A Maryland woman scammed out of thousands of dollars is speaking out tonight. Now this scam is making the rounds across the country and the tactics thieves are using are so deceptive that they just might get you too. Fox 5's Lizzie Watts now in Waldorf tonight with what you should know to protect your cash. With all the scam emails and phone calls, we all know every day thieves are trying to use you as their own personal ATM. In this scam, people capitalize on that. They call pretending you just got scammed when really you're about to. I haven't been able to eat. I haven't been able to sleep. Denise doesn't want to be identified because she's still so worried about the people who scammed her. Are they nearby or are they overseas? It all started with this text message that purported to be from her bank, Wells Fargo. Zell transaction attempted. $3,500. Reply yes or no. She replied no, and moments later, her phone rang. The man said he was with Wells Fargo, that someone was trying to take $3,500 from her via Zelle, but luckily they caught it in time and there was a simple solution. He didn't ask her to click a link or give a bank account number. Just to go into your Zelle account and make sure since the money has already been extracted that it's kind of sent back to you. He said to send $3,500 via Zelle back to herself to reverse the transaction. In the course of the call, did you have that moment where you said, wait a minute, I don't know if this is real? I did, and that's why I said to him, prove to me who you say you are. But here's the clincher. She says he told her the exact amount of a recent bank transfer. They're already in the account. So Sergeant she, Michael Smith is the Charles County Sheriff's detective in charge of financial crimes. The office is now investigating Denise's case. He says scammers can access bank accounts from information they get on the dark web or through data breaches. How often have you seen cases similar to this one? Every day. It, this happens every single day. He says scammers will say whatever they need to to gain your trust and take advantage of what you tell them. And while $3,500 is a lot of money. We have one that's $600,000. He says the most important thing to remember, if you have even just one moment of doubt, don't do it. I'm a single mom. I work hard every day. Denise says that money was supposed to go to home repairs, and she still can't believe it's up in smoke. That's a lot of money for me. And Denise says she is frustrated that Wells Fargo isn't refunding her money, even though they do have a partnership with Zelle. In a statement, Wells Fargo says they do work with law enforcement on these kind of scams to help get customers their money back. They also say that this exact scam is so common, they have started warning customers about it. Back to you.